Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be comparing two of my favorite note-taking and personal knowledge management apps to help you decide which might be best for your needs. Our first app, LogSeek, is going to need no introduction if you're a regular on this channel. I've made several videos about LogSeek, including a pretty lengthy one on how I use it to boost my productivity at work, which I'll link to above. The second app is what I would consider the most beautiful-looking note-taking app that's out there right now. Craft Notes. In today's video, I want to talk through what I think makes a good personal knowledge management app, give my opinion on where both of these apps fit into the note-taking ecosystem, compare the pros and cons of each, and hopefully help you decide which one might be right for you if you're stuck trying to pick. With that, let's get right into it, starting with how I define a good personal knowledge management app. A good personal knowledge management app, or PKM for short, handles four things with varying degrees of success. One, storing information. Two, organizing information. Three, retrieving information. And four, connecting ideas. Microsoft Word, for example, is a lousy personal knowledge management system because it can store information, but it's not great at organizing it, retrieving it, or connecting ideas. I've talked many times on this channel about LogSeq, on the other hand, which makes it easy to store information quickly, and it's self-organizing, which makes it good at organization and retrieval, and the ability to backlink topics together paired with the graph view makes it great at connecting ideas as well. That all said, the way that I frame this conversation up makes it seem pretty clear that LogSeq is the better personal knowledge management system. And it is, but it doesn't really answer a different question, and that question is, what is the best tool to use? For example, if all I need to do is jot down a note really quick just to remember once and then never again, is it easier just to throw it into a Word doc or is it better to open LogSeq and plug it into my giant knowledge workflow? For just a quick one-time note, I'd actually probably prefer Word. On the other hand, what if I were a student that needed to take down a variety of notes that I needed to then use to connect ideas while I'm writing my thesis? Well then no question, I would say LogSeq seems like the best tool to use. The point I'm trying to make here is that the software you end up choosing should be very dependent on your requirements, which actually leads me to my next section. And what I want to do next is tell you who I think both of our PKMs, both Craft and LogSeq, are for. In my opinion, LogSeq is the objectively better PKM between the two, but I do find that there are situations where I prefer Craft. First, let's talk a little bit about LogSeq. LogSeq is an open source and free application that is available for almost every platform. It allows you to store your notes offline, and its primary design philosophy is focused around making it easy to quickly add information to a daily journal. From there, LogSeq handles all of the organization for you. Now, in terms of where I could see some people not preferring LogSeq, I would say that it does feel a little more technical to use than some of the other note-taking apps out there. For example, syncing across devices can be tricky if you're not real technically savvy, as well as editing and formatting text using Markdown. I, I know that's not for everybody. And because it's such a powerful tool, it might actually be too much for some smaller note-taking needs. Think back to my Microsoft Word example. That all said, if quickly putting unorganized thoughts into your daily journal and connecting them into bigger picture ideas later sounds like it meets your needs, I think that Log seeks for you and you should really check out my video on increasing your productivity at work while using it. Craft, on the other hand, was designed with a different user in mind. It's available for most platforms, but it's notably missing from Android. It's also not offline first, and it isn't open source, and your notes will be stored on the cloud. For many people like me that can't store restricted or confidential information on the cloud, that's a deal breaker. Craft's design philosophy is also completely different. Instead of being hyper-focused on efficiency and self-organization, Craft makes you organize the notes yourself, and it's focused on being absolutely beautiful and very easy to use. Syncing between devices with Craft, though, is seamless and instant, and I'm even willing to bet that my less than technical friends could easily figure it out. One thing I do want to stop and make note of here, too, is that these features do come at a cost. 
Some of the things that we mentioned already, like syncing, require a subscription cost, which I know can be a deal breaker for some people. And yes, I am aware that syncing in LogSeq natively does also require a subscription, but there are at least ways to do it with your own cloud service that can be free, and Craft just doesn't offer anything like that. Now, where I've personally found Craft to really shine for me is in storing relatively static information that I need to reference occasionally without a fuss. For example, I set up a folder for my home where I store links to all of my bill pay websites for easy access with my account numbers so that when I need to pay my bills, I can just open that page and have all the information right there. I also have another page where I list all of my daughter's medical contacts and I've attached PDFs that contain her medications, her allergy information, and any of her action plans. If I ever have a need to see what her medicines and the specific doses are, I love that I can get to that and craft easily. I also went down this whole rabbit hole last year where I tried out uh, at least a dozen itinerary apps to plan a vacation I was taking to South Africa, and I actually just ended up using Craft. I was able to attach all of my important documents, my daily itinerary, my notes, and more to individual subpages, and I loved it. If you're looking to take more of these slower paced, more static types of notes, and you don't mind the subscription fee, or your notes being in the cloud, or Craft not being open sourced, and you want your notes to be very beautifully organized, I definitely recommend taking a look at Craft over LogSeq. All right, so that's just my two cents about these two apps. Um, I hope that you found this useful in making your decision. If I miss something, you have a specific question, or you wanna know more, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you'd like to see more on Craft Notes, like a full feature walkthrough or a tutorial, please let me know. I am running low on LogSeq content, so I'd love to keep making videos that people find helpful. Please just let me know what you'd like to see down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.